follow the YouTube. Um, I hope everyone's doing well. Uh, I've just um, been out this morning on a school trip with my daughter and uh, I decided this afternoon I was going to do a video response to uh, a video that I've been tagged in uh, on first aid kits and uh, I'm going to make myself a brew on the BioLite stove and the BioLite kettle a um, couple of sausages that I'm going to cook and um, a piece of cake can't beat a nice uh, cup of tea with a piece of cake so I'm going to find somewhere to uh, set up and I'll come back to you shortly where I was going to set up um, I can see there's some sheep grazing so it's not going to happen there but I'll find somewhere and uh, get back to you shortly catch you in a minute so there we have it bio light stove is on the uh, water's getting warm uh, we've got some trees here that there's a load of dead twigs on the other side of this wall and a couple here so we're on I'll get the brew going and then uh, I'll bring you back shortly so we're, uh, we're on to a rolling boil we're having the uh, loose leaf tea again Hopefully I've put the lid on tight enough. It's the same uh, from Saddleworth tea, the same as the last one. I know we're not supposed to pour it over the tea, but it's tough. There we go. Put that on this stone. To Cool off. I'm going to feed the fire a little bit more and uh, see if we can cook these sausages. Catch you again in a second. And there we have it. I'm using the uh, Light My Fire Grandpa, Grandpa's Toasting Fork, I think it's called. You can just about make it out on the bottom of the twig there. I've got a couple of these, I bought them um, for my daughter for cooking marshmallows um, obviously they come in handy for all kinds of cooking these are some grilling sausages, sweet chilli flavour I think they are uh, not something that I'd normally have to be honest with you just fancy them. So I'm in the supermarket and uh, thought I'd give them a go. So there you go, that's what I'm using. I'm not going to bore you with watching me cook a sausage completely. Um, I'll bring you back shortly. Right YouTube, the reason why I've come out today um, is because I've been tagged in a video. My first ever tag um, from SM Bushcraft. Uh, he has tagged me to do a review or to show you what my first aid kit is that I carry in uh, when I'm out walking basically I think uh, what my bushcraft first aid kit I suppose you'd say um, this first aid kit is just one that goes in my backpack when as I've just said when I'm out walking or doing bushcraft I have um, more comprehensive first aid kit in my car and also in my everyday carry um, backpack that I take on a, a family day out or if I'm going somewhere different. Um, this pouch uh, is made by Rolson. Um, I didn't buy it, I actually found the pouch. I work in um, security shall we say and I was out with some clients one night uh, saw it on the floor and thought one of my team members had picked it up and um, when I got back it was actually empty uh, but I thought it would come in handy uh, and that was two years ago probably now uh, and it's been floating around in various backpacks that I use 
I'm using a, the Webtex crappy old thing today. I'm surprised that it's still going after for 10 to 15 years old. Uh, anyway, it's a nice simple pouch, it's got a grab handle at the top, double zip, folds out open, like a clamshell design. And there we have it. So I've got a cheap emergency foil blanket and a pair of shears. Um, on the shears, if I was with my um, everyday carry bag, which is a Maxpedition Pygma Falcon, I've got a pair of the Leatherman Raptor shears in there, uh, which are far better than these, but it's a decent pair of scissors. Uh, I think they're only a couple of quid off eBay anyway. So then we've got um, hand bandage, we've got a triangular uh, sling, another roll out bandage and a an iPad. And we've all done the joke, I've got an iPad for sale, the latest version. Yep, that's hilarious. And then this uh, is, I think, is quite an important piece of kit to have, um, especially when we're out in the woods and everything. Um, we're messing with fires, uh, pots and pans, potentially picking things up that we shouldn't be picking up, metal handles and what have you. Um, uh, these are pretty decent. You can get all kinds of burn gel. So that was the top half, we go into the bottom half, we've got uh, an assortment of the same size shape plaster, the most common plaster everybody uses, the long thin ones, a couple of alcohol wipes and some safety pins in these front pockets and then behind there some very important bits, I should pull them all out, save that one to last, right so that's empty, right I've got a couple of pairs of latex gloves, um, very important uh, and wise to have more than one set. Um, this is just a refill pack of various shaped plasters, a square one the same as the long thin ones and slightly larger, what we call them butterfly plasters, the funny shaped ones. Uh, and then this important piece of kit um, that you don't really see a lot of people carrying. It's a face shield, but there is in bold writing there for use by trained first aiders. And I'm a strong believer that this is something that people should know what they're doing with um, and know how to do it in general. Uh, the more people that are trained in this kind of thing, the better. Um, I have a first aid kit for when I'm out on my, my bike on my Harley. Um, and this and gloves and a couple of little fight things are mainly what I've got and I think this is probably one of the most important pieces of first aid that I carry in a lot of first aid packs I think um, so yeah so I think that's important but obviously you need to know how to use it and I think you, if you can just do a first aid at work course they're usually a, a one day course and you can get them for not that much money, about 50 quid, 50 pounds, um, you get a decent course for. Um, so that's that's what I carry. Uh, it's quite selfish because it's mainly for myself, you know, stuff that's in there would cover myself if I did something. But obviously the, the, the uh, face shield and the... Um, blanket can help other people uh, more than myself I'm not going to use a face mask on myself um, and then I just thought I've done this in another video but I just thought I'd show you that if you don't have a first aid kit you can get these I won't say these are the best thing you could ever buy because they're not they're very basic but they're both a pound this one was a pound from Asda and this one was a pound from the pound shop um, they have pretty much the same thing in, um, I'm not going to open them up, they have pastas, a uh, couple of small bandages, this one's got a roll of tape and um, a 
crap pair of scissors in it uh, and this one has like cotton earbuds in it um, and other than that they're the same but for a pound I've these I've got these with extra things put in them um, one of these in my EDC bag one of them in a the box of army cars um, one of these on my bike like I said um, I can't think of anywhere else but they're all over for a pound and then you know you can top them up with other things uh, I think they're very well worth it um, now as I said SM uh, Bushcraft he uh, tagged me to do this um, so there you go I hope that's alright and meets the requirements uh, Dale Skidmore I think it was tagged um, SM Bushcraft so if you want to go and check their videos out you're more than welcome to and I, I recommend that you do um, and I think Carlisle I think it's 195 uh, was tagged um, at the same time as me so go and check his video out so then I think how it works is that I need to tag somebody else um, and I'm not 100% certain to be perfectly honest with you um, there's a couple of people that I can think of um, I just hope they see the video the subscribers um, the first one I would say is Average Joe Survival uh, I've not been following him for very long um, I watched all his videos um, doesn't, it's not really a bushcraft type of channel from what I've seen um, but he does go out in the open uh, he does a lot of EDC everyday carry type reviews um, quite informative uh, so it'd be interesting to see what he uh, comes up with um, for that uh, first aid kit um, whether he'll do an everyday carry type of one or more of a specific one what I've done there I don't know it'll be interesting to see and I would probably say um, Cod Hunter as well um, he does quite a lot of videos on YouTube he's quite active um, he's a follower of mine as well uh, so I'll, but I shall let him know um, yeah, so I'd give both of them a follow. Everyone that I've mentioned, go and give them a follow, uh, and but just check up on them to see their videos. Hopefully, they'll do one, and uh, we're all good. If not, I've failed in my mission to uh, get somebody else to to do it. Oh, something in the way. Sorry. All right, I'm gonna pack up and uh, finish my brew. Have my piece of uh, ginger cake that my mum made for me uh, yesterday. With my recipe, may I add, but uh, she does make it very nice. Uh, and I'll catch you again shortly. See you later. And that's what you're missing out on. It's lovely. Ha ha ha. There we go. That's where I was sat. And uh, again, no trace. Tidied up after myself. And uh, you can actually see railway tracks where I sat today. There's a surprise. And I'm back off up there. There's a signpost, and I'm going straight up along that fence line. Uh, and I'm going to have to go because I lost track of time and realised that I've still got to go and pick up my daughter from school. So, uh, yeah. Back to uh, normality, I guess. So uh, thanks for watching guys, um, like I say it's my first ever video response uh, to being tagged, so um, if you like the video, like it, if you really like it, and uh, you would be so kind, subscribe wouldn't go amiss, it would be very much appreciated, and uh, if you didn't like the video, Click the uh, thumb down icon, but leave a comment and tell me why. 
please. Thank you very much. See you later, YouTube. Goodbye.